Hey guys, today we're going to be playing uh, PSP on the PC. Crazy, huh? Um, what we're going to need is uh, JP something something something, I forgot what it was called. But you're going to get all these files from a download that I'm going to put in the description. JPCSP.org You're going to want to download 32 or 64 bit or Linus or Linux 64. They're also for Mac. Once you download one of these, you want to extract the RAR file into a folder like this. Um, I have 64 bit, so I downloaded the 64 bit version. After you do that, you want to download ISOs of your favorite PSP games. I got two games so far, so. Just uh, go back here. I uh, just right clicked on this link, this uh, that file. I sent it to my desktop to create a shortcut. So we can do that right here. Uh, first thing you want to do is uh, check if you see your games in here, which I do. Next, what you want to do is go to uh, video, resize, and do times two times one is just too small for me. So uh, next what you want to do is configure your uh, controls. You want to get your controller or keyboard, however you want to play. You can change that up here. I'm using a joystick for this because I cannot play anything on a different format other than PC on my keyboard. Okay, what you want to do is click on the, uh, the the uh, respective keybind, and then click on your controller or keyboard what buttons you want to use. So I'm clicking the right trigger, and then this I'm pressing square, and it'll bind them all how you want it, and it will bind them to your controller or keyboard. After you do your controls, you want to go into configuration. You want to keep all these unchecked except for position on exit, that saves the position of where it is on the desktop and use the UND browser which is the images that you load the game from. Uh, I set this to English. It's set to Chinese at first or whatever that is. Um, I don't think any of this matters. Uh, this if you have a graphics card or a good one you want to put uh, vertex cache, disable, enable, enable saving GE, enable decoding, and this last one is for AMD and ATI cards, and I have a ATI. So I'm going to check this, and that'll give us better performance with my type of card. Audio, leave all these off. Uh, check both of these, ignore. You want to decode audio files with Sonic Stage on media, and use compiler Dynaric and since I have a good processor, I'm using 3000. Um, with uh, crypto, you want to decrypt eBoot into temp file. Um, and this, uh, if you have a really good supercomputer, you could probably set everything on high and everything. But I choose this because it's the easiest to file, easiest way to uh, configure. Next to what you want to do is go into your UMD games. You want to pick a game and load it. Now you should hit run and it should start up the game normally. This is the first time I'm running this game so I might run into issues. Okay, sorry guys. Uh, the Metal Gear Solid messed up for some reason. Let's just try a little big planet this time. Okay, as you see, uh, it's loading. It's doing as it should. Okay, uh, use my controller. You will get this uh, data is corrupt because it's not a real PSP. But yeah, you just click no and wait for it to load. Okay, as you see, it's loading normally with the cutscenes and all. 
It does look a bit pixelated, but that's because the PSP's uh, small screen size. Ideas. The audio is kind of messed up because it's an emulator. Hopefully that will be fixed in later versions. But, uh, let's go ahead and skip this. I will lag at the beginning because I'm recording right now. And it also takes a minute to get all the textures and such. On Little Big Planet, you become a delightful little sack person. This is you. Your analog stick is your advancing implement. It moves you through the levels of the speed I'm just that's lagging because you. of the uh, audio decoding that's going to on. Jump so high you defy the laws of gravity is a must have big planet, and your action button will furnish you with this. Give the action button a short, sharp stab for a modest hop. Ring press for a big boy bouncy bound. Fly, my pretty one. Okay, so uh, it works perfectly. Usually get around 60 FPS. 50 through 60. But uh, it does take its hit because it is an emulator. Uh, I guess that's all guys. Um, see you guys uh, next time. Stay tuned for more tutorials and gaming videos. Uh, please comment, rate, subscribe, and I'll see you guys later.